Then when we get to that when Mukwa Dara and Mrs. Sagas of the Credit, um, I hope we'll stay in on the internet, but um, welcome everybody. It's Tuesday, October 28th. 27th. So this is the fourth week that we've um, uh, come together virtually to do the songs. Um, and we got a flip chart, but the markers never came in. So then uh, we can use that for later. <laughs> but we did send some of the words to Jackie that's going to put on a website. So that'll be coming on there. And we'll just do as best as we can. Uh, we might do some things a little bit different tonight to remember the words. Um, I don't know what happened last week. So I wasn't here. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. See, you can do it without me. No. So, so we're a storyteller. Um, and these are three of my daughters. Uh, they may like my stories right now, but I, t I tell them over and over and over and over. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um, so my Indian name is Wild Blue Purple Flower Woman. I'm from the Mississauga's The Credit and I'm Bear Clan. And my dad's from she's in the Grand River. My name is Hawaii. My credit don't you Hi, my name's Mary Shino for the strawberries. My name is she who stands with five women. Bear Clan from the credit. Move over just a little bit. Maybe. Make it kind of out a little bit. <laughs> Don't try to hide. We have uh, the little ones here. They're in the background in the bedroom. So they might come in and out uh, playing. We're trying to get stuff around here too. So um, I don't know where what's happening in your area, but it's been like raining off and on today. So uh, what song do you want to start with? Uh, the spirit song. Welcoming the spirits. Okay, so we're going to start off with the, um, calling the grandfathers and the grandmothers in. Um, I first heard this song at Sundance, not Sundance, at Rain Dance. And at the different doorways, um, the men were dressed different than the women. The men had black gloves on and the women had white gloves on. Um, everything was um, vice, vice versa. So they, they danced all night and rested during the daytime and it was called a ghost dance. And uh, if, you, if you ever come across any kind of readings around that, um, they used to use that ceremony when they when they went in on the enemies to, to do whatever they needed to do, take courses or whatever. Um, and um, it's it's written about, but they sang that song a lot. And, it, and it's basically calling in the grandmothers and the grandfathers when you do something, and they come and look right in your face and they're saying, there you are. And that's what they're saying. We call, when we sing, we always sing in the four directions. So they come in from the east and the south, um, and the four directions. So we're gonna sing four times too, or more. Yeah.
Anybody? <laughs> yeah. I think it sounds really good when you put uh, headphones on as opposed to listening to your laptop speaker or anything like that. Yeah. We didn't glitch. <laughs> Not glitching out. Nope. No. And the video looks really good too. I just want to show my little glue and junk I brought over. <laughs> my glue and shirt closet. So what I got in here is um, lemon, hot water, and some ginger, and a cinnamon stick. And uh, I'm drinking that all day. But um, if you got a cold, that helps or sore throat. But um, as I've get, gotten older, my throat hurts sometimes when I'm singing, but it's because I have a thyroid. And um, uh, when they did radiation, it, I don't know, it did some damage in there, I think. <clears throat> so sometimes my throat gets sore, but it helps when I use that to sing. Or um, I use bear root, um, they call it oats, or bear root that and put a little bit in your mouth and that helps with the throat so that you're not doing any damage to your throat and it's all it's also for protection but it's also a good um antibiotic when you bad by antibiotic you just have to use a little bit and make a little tea out of it um it's uh, very scarce right now but um it's a good medicine to you <laughs> so, um, I like how we almost harmonized. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, you see the bear song. Okay, so they want to sing the bear song, and right, and right now we're just almost finishing um, Binakwe Giza's "The Moon" phase, and it's going into on Sunday. I'm going to have a full moon ceremony, and it's going to be going into um, the freezing over moon. So it's start the ground is starting to get cool, and usually in Anishinaabe people we have a bear ceremony, and we're helping that bear go to sleep. Um, to rest. And the bear is similar to to do the same thing. So right now the ground You're cutting out now, Val. We no, really we're starting to come in different areas. Medicine person, I'm Bear Clan, a First Nation or another. We couldn't hear you. Huh? We couldn't hear you. Get really I what? couldn't. I couldn't anyway. Oh. Like for the almost okay. the whole what what you said. <laughs> you can you hear me now? Yeah, but it was like it was cutting in and out. Like it was the computer, not you. Are you sure? Okay. So we're gonna sing the bear song. Soon as you soon as you can't hear me, then tell me. I don't know how else they're gonna tell me how else. They just if, if they type anything on there, then we it'll pop up and you'll see it. Okay, so maybe just type right away something if you, we start glitching out. Okay, so we're gonna sing the bear song. So right now, um Anishinaabe people, we get we do a ceremony for the bear to put the bear to sleep because the bear, Mukwa, is just like Mother Earth. So it's, there's a blight, the, the moon just coming up right now, the, the ending moon is Benakwe Jesus. We talked about that last week and the week before. And this moon coming up is a, is um, freezing over a moon. So it's getting ready, the bear getting ready just like Mother Earth, so to rest. And so then we are supposed to rest. So all these leaves, what do these leaves do, Maya? Um, they help the ecosystem. I can't hear you. They're part of the ecosystem. So they help with the burns and all this kind of stuff, right? Sure. So we see some people burning some leaves today, and um, but we just leave them. We just leave them because that's helping the earth feed the earth and everything else. And that's like a blanket. And then the other blanket that comes on is the snow. 
So then these bears um, go to sleep. So the bear clan people usually gather together then they do the ceremony and bring what all the bears like to eat, like the sweet stuff, the maple syrup, the fish, the berries, and help them go to sleep. Um, because they've done a lot of work all year long, so it's time for them to rest, and it's time for us to rest and to start working on our outfits, tell stories, all these types of things. So this next month is to start getting ready for all of that. So this bear song, is, uh, it says, take pity on us. We're asking that bear to take pity on us because we are pitiful human beings, and it comes in to help us. and. And um, so we're saying not a, not a motion. So we're asking that bear to come in and we're thanking the bear. We'll thank the bear and send it back to the spirit world at the end of the song. Okay. Did Jackie, did you hear me talk about this? Yep. Huh? Yeah? Yes, I did. Yes, okay. I did. And I have all those ingredients at home too. So I want to know about that later. Oh, it tastes so good. It's got to be hot water, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we are. says Manitou Makwa, Manitou Makwa. So it says spirit, Manitou of the bear, Mukwa. Manitou Makwa, Gabi Nagaze. It's like, help, help me. So Gabi Nagaze, Gabi Nagaze. So I, I, we put it in syllables. So when we write it out, that's what it's gonna look like. Ga, be, Na ga say ga try it ga be na ga say good I can see some of you saying it ready do it again ga be na ga say ga be na ga say ga be na ga say 
Gabi Naga say. That's good. That's the second line. And then it goes back to Manitou Makwa again. So spirit of the bear. Manitou Makwa. Manitou Makwa. And then the next line is Ogi Jowen Nishna. Ogi Jowen Nishna. So it's, it's asking to help the people. And then we switch it at the end there to send the bear back to the spirit world. And we're saying miigwech nishomas. So you're familiar with the word miigwech. Thank you, grandfathers. Nimishomas. Thank you, grandfathers. And Manitou Makwa, the spirit of the bear. And those other sounds, all those other sounds are vocals. Um, it's still talking about the spirit and giving thanks. Your spirit is giving thanks for all of those things. It's hitting all those notes in our body. Of, of gratitude, of thankfulness. Okay. What was the first song we said? Oh yeah. So that first song, I'll go back to that first song. We said, I'm saying, Bindige, come on in, come on in. So even when somebody comes to your door and they're knocking, and you're answering the door and you're saying bindige, you'll see them coming this bindige. Um, even when we dream, we, we see them going like this. They're saying, come on, don't be shy, come on in. So that's what we're, we're asking the grandfathers because they just don't show up. Our helpers, our ancestors, our, our helpers, the spirits. We have to invite them in. We have to say, come on in, come on in close to us so we can, we feel your, your energy, your love for us. So we're asking them, Come on in, grandfathers. Grandma. It can be you as a grandma, me as a grandma, other people as a grandma, even Grandma Moon. Come on in, grandma. So then we, that's that female and male energies. So in the, the third line is Bindige again, Gitchi Manitou. Bindige, great spirit, come on in, come on in. That's that's what the whole song is saying when, when we're singing it. So when I was fasting back in my, I usually go fast in the spring and fall, that song kept singing, they kept singing that song for four days to me. I came out that I came out of that fast, and that's all it was in my head. And that, that song just stayed with me. They just kept singing that song over and over and over to me. So, um, she's blowing Oh, she said she wants to sing Ebe. Okay, the next one we're gonna sing. We've sing this a couple of times, and it's raining today. And uh, as soon as it hits that zero mark, it's gonna go to the to the frozen part. And uh, we talk about water as women, because women are the life givers. I see it's, I think it's mainly women on here even tonight. We as women are to take care of water. We, we are to take care of nibi. When we say nibish, it's water, any old water. But when we say nibi, it's sacred water. And during this time, three days before full moon and three days after, we, we can put jugs like this outside, not with lemon in it, but just water, need be. And we get it blessed by Grandmother Moon and we just drink it. Even at the moon ceremonies, we'll have it blessed by the energy of her, of her. And we just drink it and it helps with our teas, our baths, our medicines, when someone's not feeling well. So we, we use that and it's usually sitting by my stove all the time. So it's our responsibility as women to sing every time you see a river, a lake, an ocean, we put sema in, tobacco. We put our tobacco in there to help Mother Earth. So um, we it's our responsibility and it's the men's responsibility. <laughs> it's the men's responsibility to take care of the fire. So they're the fire, we're the water. So, <laughs> so the water, is connected to Grandma Moon. She rules the water, Grandma Moon. She rules the women that are carrying the babies. She helps clean the waters. Um, it's scientific knowledge now. They're finally catching up. These scientists are saying, hey, these indigenous people know what they're talking about over there. 
<laughs> so we're going to sing this Nibi song and it says, I love you, I thank you, and I respect you. I love you, I thank you, and I respect you. Simple as that. That's what Mother Earth wants us to be and like to each other all the time. I love you, I thank you, and I respect you. Here. It's almost Halloween. Where's my hat? I do have another She's hat. She's got a hat on thing one. Alicia's supposed to be thing two. That's she cool. <laughs> I should have brought my hat over. Oh. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> What do you win? I was going to buy that one. That one. It was brighter. Did both of them come with that? No, I had to buy the other. <laughs> Gotta get serious <laughs> now. <laughs> um, so it goes like this. So those are the three lines. Um, the girls want me to talk a little bit about Wendigo Con. <clears throat> so that was part of a... Uh, um, <laughs> Wendigo Cons, um, they love to laugh. And their their medicine is... <laughs> <laughs> their medicine is uh, healing. Like if you go to Sundance or any of those kind of ceremonies, um, they usually were black and white, or sometimes there is color in them. Like I've gone to a couple of ceremonies where they do have color, but it looks like clowns, kind of. Um, but they take the sickness away, and what we give them is um, candy, candy and gifts, and they, and they like to play jokes on people and take things at the ceremony. But they usually are there to heal people or, or take things, take heavy things, and they lift the energy back up. And they do everything backwards. So if I was walking forward, they would be walking backwards. Um, some people have those tendencies even like, for example, I read books from the back to the front. I never start at the front. I always start back. And I have good vision. I can see the end of a product or something at the end of what needs to be done. And then I come backwards. Like, so people say, you're backwards. I'm not backwards. It's just the way I'm, I am. Um, but. Uh, what else do you want to say about Pindical Con? Um, they, they flip things around. So when somebody's world is flipped upside down, when you hear that, 
the songs flip it back up the way it's supposed to be and so that you can continue on in a good way. No. Sorry. Cynthia? No, this is, <laughs> this is well spoken. No. I don't know. I just wanted to get up and start messing around. With... Okay. Here. Okay. Here you go. Here you go. Um, I just saw. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Caitlin, do you see any questions on there? I don't see Jack. Oh, yeah. Jackie? Jack follows things. Uh, no <laughs> questions yet. That goesn't okay. There we go. There's a thing you right. can do because you didn't want to get rosies. Oh. So we're just gonna add like thigh high, like. Okay. Does anybody have a specific request of a song that you would want to know? Jack, you said no questions from here. Lindy's last year. <laughs> See, Jackie should be teaching this. Okay. She's from last year. Your I, have, I have a question. Yeah. When when the song End I Young? What what is, what is it? End I Young. Can you sing us like sing it sing a little bit of it? Oh my gosh. I can't or even or even hum it. Hold on. Wait till I get I got I got words, but I got it together. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. On and I am. And I am. And I am. Is it go like this? And I am. And I am. Oh, okay. Is that it? No, this one I've got. It's it's uh. Hey uh. Hey uh. Hey way. Hey oh. Hey uh. Hey uh. Hi oh. And then it's it's just I don't know. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, way, hey, I, oh, hey, uh, way, oh, away, I, oh, oh, way, uh, oh, hi, uh, oh, way, I'm um, Diane. I don't know. I thought you guys did it the first week. I was going to say, did they sing it before? I thought so. I thought the first week you did it. Um, we sang the water song. I think that's so true. Are you singing? Are you, is this the one? Way high, oh, high, oh. That one. That one. Okay, oh. that one. That one came from a Bruce Elijah. He gave that to me about thirty years ago. And he's from Oneida, and it came to him from BC, and I'm gonna tell you what that song talks about. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. When when we don't take care of ourselves or we feel really down or something happened to us or trauma, part of our spirit flies off over top of mountains. Part of it flies over top of the water. Part of it flies over top of tall grass. So when we sing this song, we're calling our, our spirit back just like when an accident happens and it's, it's shattered. Something happens, like bad news, tragic. And we have to go in there and do ceremony and put tobacco down to, to call our spirit back in. And so when we sing that song, we're calling it back, calling it back in those directions so that we feel whole again. And we have to do that. Even when people have passed on at a car accident, we still have to go there and sing those songs. So that's what this song is about. And when he when he sang it in the sweat lodge, it just felt like somebody just picked me up by the shoulders. And it, I was dancing in this jingle dress I could see. And he said, you can have this song now. So that's what I call it, is I call it the three fires. He never named it, but I named it the three fires. OK? OK. All right. Big what? Mm -hmm. OK. Hey, hey, 
Yes, definitely. And it came at a perfect time because I've just lost two people in the last three days. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so and sorry. Can't go, I mean, we can't go, we can't go anywhere, right? Yeah. So, yeah. That song came to, I, I had that in my head and I just couldn't, I couldn't rack why I was thinking that song. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you asked. And um, remember, these are recorded and you can go back to it and listen to it again if you need to. And even take out your phone and record on there So and, and just do replay if you need to hear it, okay? Miigwech. Miigwech to you. Anybody else have any questions? No? Okay. <clears throat> so pretty soon uh, next week, or not this week, it's Halloween in this community. <laughs> We're doing the best we can. And um, I've been making a lot of soups like, um, butternut squash soup and what I had yesterday, split pea soup. I never made that before. Um, and I just let it soak all night and I just added a whole bunch of stuff. So I just, I just really crave soups. Oh, I lost you. Oh, I lost you. Applesauce the last couple of days. I did beets, I did pickles, I did peaches, what else? Tomatoes. Um, um, salsa. strawberry pickles. salsa, pickles, everything. Like my mom used to do a lot of yeah. and I really want my kids and my because we have everything on our our land, even crab apples. Oh. And I went away last week because I needed to because we we lost a special person in our community. Also, Mr. Carl King was a teacher for twenty years and um, with cancer, and. Um, I just needed to go away and my friends took care of me. And I, this woman that was at the house, this b, &B she knew everything about dehydrating. Every time I turned around, she had dehydrated onions, dehydrated tomatoes. And she went, we went for a walk and she brought the pears back and she dehydrated them. So now I'm going to dehydrate. So I want to go buy one of those dehydration machines. <laughs> so she gave me some, and I, I just fell in love with it. I had one before and I gave it away because I didn't know what to do, but just sitting there watching her four days, I know what to do now. And that's what you need in your life. You need somebody to watch what they do. And I want somebody with the language, all of those things are quilting and all of those things. I want to learn, you know how to quilt? Or you want to do it too? <laughs> Me too. So, um, but Halloween's coming in. Halloween is my favorite time of the year. It wasn't at one point because my brother um, passed away on New Year's or New Year's Halloween at a dance, but um, I at times. So in the community, they're gonna be coming around the community and you're supposed to be dressed at the end of your laneway while I give candy out. But I'm gonna have a fire. 
I'm going to have my little cauldron there. Have my some, some witches out. <laughs> We've already done the pumpkins. You should see our pumpkins. They're pretty cute. So and we had a fun night because the New Credit community gave us all pumpkins one day and gave us a decoration. So did you see this song? Mm -hmm. What a happy song. Uh, up there. Mm -hmm. happy song. <laughs> Yeah, we'll sing okay. 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 We're going to sing a round dance song. Round dance. People forever in the day. Yes. <laughs>
Jai talk about these uh, Roundette songs because um, they come to her. So I'm going to let her talk about it. <coughs> come up close, closer. <coughs> um, so I think we talked a little bit about that last week um, with Roundette songs. Um, so there's, there's two different styles of Roundettes round dances, well three I guess, um, but I think each nation has their own adaptation of what a round dance is or what it could be. <clears throat> um, I think for for um, Cree people it's a ceremony too, right? So you start at like six o'clock at night and you go right up until six o'clock in the morning and that round dance is supposed to, they do it at night because we believe that our, <coughs> our spirits, our ancestors are, are awake at night. and um, we dance with them when we're doing that, and we, we sing with them when we're when we're doing that. I guess um, there's memorial sun dances, and then there's like more of the social sun da sun dances, round dances um, that happens. And and um, there's also something called a, a 49er song or a 49 song, and that's more like. Um, that's what they used to do after powwows or like the Saturday night at powwows or the Friday night at powwows or Sunday night at powwows a long time ago in like the 50s, 60s and 70s. And what would happen is um, they, because our people weren't the healthiest in that, that time era, that time frame. So they would powwow all day and then they would get together and gather at night and they would drink. And um, those are the kind of songs they would sing was like snagging songs, I guess you could call it. Um, I think that's probably the closest that you can get to it. And they would sit around the drum and they would sing those songs. Um, but kind of as, as time started going on and more into the eighties and nineties, people seen and, and knew that doing those kinds of things at a pow or during a pow was unhealthy. And, um, they started going to treatment and, and people started putting down alcohol and putting down drugs. And then they would, um, they would go to treatment and, and I, it just stopped happening. Um, the last pow I went to up north and picked over it, I think it was like 10 or 11. So it's not that long ago. Um, we got there at like nine or 10 at night and they were partying. And I was like, oh, cool. Like, cause we're in our communities down here, there's no drugs, no alcohol. But when we went up there, they were still doing that. And it wasn't until like the last five or six years where they, they banned alcohol and drugs at their, they banned drugs and alcohol at their, their powwows and events. So you, you see the stark contrast of the acceptance of alcohol and drugs at our ceremonies. <clears throat> um, but that's what, that's where our 49 songs used to come from. That's where they came from. Um, and then you have like Ongahoe style or Iroquois style round dances that they call it the rabbit dance. So when we sing around it songs, it's, <clears throat> it's really about bringing everybody together in the same circle, in the same space. No. Oh, but we're still we're still on the clock here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you still mention the song? Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, do you want to sing the song? I don't think song. Okay. Okay. Um, do you guys, do you guys, uh, anybody know the Eagle song? So this song, you, there's two of you that know. So see, some people sing it different. Um, but the song says, the song talks about, I hear the Eagle. I see the Eagle. The Eagles come down and works with the people. The Eagle comes into my heart. And then I thank the eagle. And um, 
there was a man from this community, his name is Bobby Salt, and he's been sending me eagle feathers and he's been living out to BC for uh, many years since he was young. And uh, he told me to give these feathers to people that are doing work in the community or work on themselves. So I've been giving them to um, women that's been coming off the streets or getting into education, getting in these programs, or people that are doing, doing hard work in the, in the systems or in the jails or just on themselves. I've given almost all the big ones away and I got little ones that I'm starting to give away. I gave a lot of, to the people that helped at the three fires that we had or the fire that we had for grieving in uh, August that I had. I gave a lot of feathers to the people that came to help with the wood, with food, with everything, uh, singing. I gave them, gave them all a feather and I told them where it came from. <clears throat> and then there's a story to do with the eagle. Um, at one time, the creator was going to banish everything because just like the water song uh, people forgot to thank to give their their gratitude their thankfulness their and creator wanted to ban everything and so he um or our creator the entity said i'm going to end this world because it makes me so sad that um they're not following the, the original instructions so the, the eagle begged the creator because the eagle is the one that flies closest to creator. The, please do not banish. I will go find someone that um, is still following the ways, that still has their tobacco out in the morning, at noon, in the evening, praying for themselves, for the family, for the community, for all of creation, like we're supposed to, just like the water song. Because the water has said to us from the water walkers messages that I carry now and I tell people the water walkers said the message was the mother earth said, how can you pray for me? How can you petition for me? How can you feel bad for me? When you need to look after yourself first, you can't do anything for me until you look after your body, your mind, your spirit, emotion, just like I was doing last week, looking after myself, regenerating myself. So then she, I, we have to look after ourselves just like a mother you know mothers we can do and do and do for our children but we're going to be exhausted we need to look after ourselves especially in this day and age <clears throat> so the ego went out the creator said okay go ahead you go find these people so then the creator went uh, the megaze went and looked upon the land early in the morning at sunrise nothing didn't see anything at noon, high noon, when looked, nothing. In the evening, when looked again, just before the sun sets. That's when you'll see those magazines come out to look. You'll see them at ceremonies even. It's a sign when those come, um, when they come, that they're listening. So um, the first day was disheartening because he did, the, the magazine didn't see anything. Second day, same thing. Third day, same thing. Fourth day, I, I, the magazine was praying really to find these people. So then finally on the fourth day at noon, when he went to look, he seen a family. He seen a mom and a dad and children with standing like this and heard their prayers, heard their prayers from their heart. And so he took those prayers up to creator and he said, you, you can't banish. I found one. I found one family that's still saying the, their prayers. You can't banish the, the earth. So if you think about it, sometimes it's difficult when you are the only one standing there saying something, doing something, because we all are creator's thoughts. When we, when we were born, when we came here, they say we are one of creator's thoughts living out the purpose. And we, if we are doing that one thing, it can be pretty lonely sometimes, but it, all it takes is one person. We all know that sometimes it only takes one person to do something. So that's what this is about. It took the magazine to, to go see and scout and it took one family for it to come back.
Any questions? How would you like that song? Anybody hear that before? Awesome. Anybody hear that story before? <laughs> yep. No? Okay, somebody's got a question up there. It's gone now. It said I liked it. Oh, okay. So Your... I love the story, she said. Sounds good. Any questions? Well, have a good, happy Halloween. Um, I wish I could share some pumpkins and applesauce that I made. So <laughs> we're going to go have some Halloween fun.